scoop and score. That was awesome. Coach Stiff. Uh, <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, so Chad got the Beaver Award, which goes to the guy that causes the first turnover. But uh, my favorite part was watching that, that uh, you know, break the little tackle there and scoot on down the road. That was fun. That was cool. I think after the first quarter, I don't think they had more than 33 yards in any quarter. Yeah. I mean, so that's just consistency throughout. Yeah, and again, um, they'll, they'll probably be the first to, to admit their style of play isn't, you know, really built for, you know, tossing a ball, you know, 60 times. Uh, they certainly probably will do it if they have to, but um, that's not their comfort zone. So uh, we benefited again from the offense really playing uh, extremely well as well. Coach, how good is it to have Jake back? Yeah, that yeah, was fun, event. man. It was, it was cool. It was great to have him back. And, uh, you know, he had two separate hamstrings. And my other son, Tyler, had a 25% tear the week before last. And uh, you know, I'm only male Venables healthy. Uh, but, but uh, no, it was good. Uh, he came out and played well. He's worked hard, so it was good. Kind of in the same vein of what David asked on the consistency. Is this as good as maybe the, the backups and the third third level guys have come in and yeah, played? Yeah, I thought they played well tonight. You know, I think that's fair to say they, they got in there and, and um, played one of their better games for sure. What area of improvement would you most like to see in the next few games? Um, what area of improvement? I just I just want the guys to be consistent. You know, I think that's what you got to prove. Are you a some timer? Are you an all timer? You know, who are we? And uh, you know, so again, consistency, humility, uh, the preparation, uh, the intensity, the respect for the game, all those things. I wouldn't necessarily want to see it improve. I want to see it sustained, and uh, that'll be the challenge because everybody, oh, now they may try to anoint you, or you don't have to worry about this week or whatever. And that's couldn't be further from the truth. You got to respect the game, and there's a process and. Um, again, you have you know great leadership and great practices, and again, you're doing all the little things right in regards to healing your body up, eating right, sleeping right, <coughs> watching film, uh, being coachable, um, coming in for extra, all those things. You got to. That's how to me. I I think that's how you see. You know, okay, you got this clump of teams, and you got all these teams that are winning at a high level and undefeated, and all of a sudden you see them one by one just kind of start dropping off. I think that's. That's a big part of it.